Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a custom brush that you could use over and over again. So if you often find that you're using the same or similar brush settings from image to image to image, in this video, I'll show you how you could save some time with this custom brush. Now, what we're gonna do in this image, I want to enhance the sky. So I'm gonna get the brush tool and what I like to do, now this is just me, you don't have to do this, I keep exposure all the way down and I'll have auto mask off. And I just do that so I could see exactly where I'm brushing. Uh, you of course uh, could use the overlay if you want. You could hit the O key on your keyboard and you'll get a red overlay. I prefer to just do it this way. So I have the exposure all the way down and you could change the size of your brush with your bracket keys. The left bracket key makes it smaller, right bracket key larger. And also if you have a mouse with the center wheel, you could just spin that wheel and make it larger. In my case, I have a magic mouse. I just drag my finger on it. Now I'm just going to get this humongous brush to begin with. And we're gonna go across and I'm just going to brush in the sky. So I make sure that I have all the sky selected. Now I'm gonna get a smaller brush, kind of refine it a little bit and get in here. And then when I get near the hills in the background there, then I'll turn on auto mask. That way it will hopefully stay on the sky and won't affect those trees or at least affect the trees minimally. So we'll come up in here, make sure we get it all, get an even smaller brush. And pretty much got her done. Okay, so I have it painted adequately. Now I'm just going to reset the exposure slider. Now I mentioned I wanted to enhance uh, the sky. I also man, man, mentioned that you hit the O key on your keyboard. If you hit the O key, you'll get this red overlay and that will show you where you're painted. And you get hit the O key again to turn that overlay off. Now I want to enhance the sky. So uh, what I want to do is I want to go to clarity first and push up clarity. And I want to add some saturation and maybe some texture as well. So I'm just making it a lot of drama in that sky. And maybe we'll even add a little bit of contrast. So uh, added quite a bit of uh, drama to the sky. There's before and there's after. Now let's say I really like these settings in, in another image or two images or ten in images. I want to do these the same type of enhancement. Well, I could create this brush preset. It'll save all these settings. Now I'm going to turn off auto mask because I don't want it to save that. But I'm going to save all the other settings that I just dialed in. To do that, we'll go up to, to the right of effect. You see where it says custom right now? Click on that and you'll get this drop down. Go all the way down towards the bottom, second last item, save current settings as new preset. And I'll do that and it's asking me for a name and I'm going to call it enhanced sky. And we'll click create. All right, so now we have this enhanced sky uh, preset. And let's just say that I delete it, all right? And let's just say, well, sh we're starting over kind of. We're on contrast or something. And we have exposure down. All right, so I just opened this image now and you can see it says custom and I wanna use this enhanced sky uh, preset. Just click on the drop down, and then just find it in your list. It's right here, enhanced sky. And it, Put in those settings again and we'll just get a big brush to begin with and now i could just brush in my enhanced sky automatically saves a lot of time now you're probably thinking anthony couldn't you just do that better with a graduated filter well yeah if i used a graduated filter and i used a mask to mask it just so it affected the sky i could have done that as well and if i go to the graduated filter if i go to that drop down you could see it's got the preset there as well. So the preset, I created it as a brush preset, but it's also in the graduated filter, and you guessed it, it's also in the radio filter as well. So just because you created in any of these three local adjustment tools, you create this custom preset, it'll be available in all three, so you're good to go. Now, if you have Lightroom on more than one computer, and you've created this, let's say, on your desktop, and you want to share it with your uh, laptop, what you could do is you don't have to create it all over again. You could just copy it. So what you need to do is find it. And to do that, if you have a Mac, 
Go to the Lightroom Classic menu. If you have a PC, it's under the edit, edit menu. And you want to go to Preferences. And at Preferences, you want to go to Presets. And then right here, you see these two buttons. You want to go to the second one, Show All Other Lightroom Presets. Click on that, and you'll get a Finder window open up if you have a Mac. Of course, if you have a PC, a File Explorer window will open up. It's going to bring you to like the uh, parent folder. You have to drill down. So double click, it's on Lightroom. That's where it brought us. Just double click to open that up. Then what you want to look for is local adjustment presets right here. Double click on that. And then you could see Enhanced Sky. That is our brush preset that we created. It's also now a graduated filter and a radial filter preset as well. Just copy this file and copy it to thumb, thumb drive or something and then just share it on other um, in other Lightrooms you might be running on other computers. Again, you'll have to go to this folder. Just copy it into the folder. You're going to have to close down Lightroom and reopen it for it to appear. But once you do that, you'll be able then to uh, have the custom presets you create be in all the different Lightrooms you might be using across different computers. So that's it. That's how you create a custom brush, custom graduated filter, custom radial filter in Lightroom. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.